Loading where you just pipe cut the DNA in the, into the smart cell and it'll just kind of slowly drift down and eventually an enzyme will get to the bottom of some of those ZMWs. And in that case, and in almost all cases, you've got 150,000 ZMWs. You never will get one enzyme at the bottom of all 150,000. It's just, it never happens. Sometimes you'll get two enzymes in one, sometimes nothing will get in a ZMW. On average, we will load about 40% to 50% of our ZMWs. And that's just, it's all statistics. You know, depending on the concentration of the DNA, if you have too high of a concentration, you will overload the ZMWs. And then what you've got is a lot of noise because you've got two different enzymes firing off at the same time and you've got to wait for one to die before you can actually start using the signal. If, and if you underload your DNA concentration, you won't have enough in those ZMWs. So playing lots of games here as far as helping the customers know exactly what concentration they need to use. But one um, really good one is, if you take the enzyme and you stick, this is a, I think that's a poly A tail, basically adenines. You take 20 adenines and you stick them on the end of the enzyme. You can't quite see this, this yellow tail. Um, that you can prep these fragments with that. And I'm going to show you how this movie works. And then what you can do is, the, ignore the front part. In suspension, you can pipette in these magnetic beads. And the magnetic beads, you can put this poly T tail on which is attracted to the poly A tail. So these are just you know, a couple of strands. A's and T's always like to go together. Good for the solution. You put the T's on the magnet, and you put the A's on the enzyme, and then you've got all these fragments of DNA now that will naturally stick to the, the magnetic bead. And so the beauty of that is, so you've got these different lengths. You've got the really long ones, and you've got really short ones. But then what we do is we spin this, these things down a little bit to get the magnetic beads to draw down towards the ZMWs. And as these magnetic beads roll along, the longer fragments of DNA can reach all the way to the bottom, but the short ones are held close up because we, we manage that. So in this way, when the enzyme gets to the bottom, it has an affinity to stick to the substrate that we place, and we can get the really long strands to attach as opposed to the short ones. So that's, that's another trick that we get into, which is just how do we stick this stuff down at the bottom of these CMWs. Okay.